I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to, to Brojax. <laughs> now we need to figure out how to turn this canoe into a paddleboard. We kind of seem a little bit scattered. We're both on the same page, and the page is blank. Why can't we just stand on the boat? What's the point of that? You can still use it as a paddleboard. All I want to do is put a nice top on this and kind of make it look like a paddleboard and try it out. He's all in a dither because he didn't think of this idea. Well, I'm in a dither. Hey, there's dithers. It doesn't take much to be in a dither, according to you. See? Why not an outrigger system so that we won't tip it? Do paddleboards have outriggers? I can't remember. Sorry, oh, wait, no, they just... don't. They don't have outriggers. Are you trying to make it difficult? Outriggers and stuff like that. What is it then? OK, how about this? Let's take this canoe, put it in the water, and see if we can stand on here. If we can't, then we need outriggers. All right. We threw the canoe in to have a little test to see if you could actually stand up and use it much like a paddleboard. Why balance, balance. Yeah, we need longer paddles, that's for sure. Uh, we learned a couple things. Our oars are not nearly long enough, so we were kind of doing one of these. Whoa, Junior, don't do it. I'm not doing anything. Keep going, paddle. It's very tippy. When you're not sitting down in the canoe, your center of gravity raises. Your center of gravity raises even more if you're standing on the top of it. So it's going to be really tippy. Just like the Voyageur. <laughs> I can't believe we're dry. It was touch and go there for a second. Maybe the outrigger is the way to go. I'm still not quite sure about how it's going to work. Kevin seems a little more sure. Like most of the things he does, he just kind of gets an idea in his head and goes with it. It's going to be quite dangerous. It's going to be a canoe with a top on it. If any water gets in there, it's going to turn into a giant anchor and it's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean, hopefully with us not attached to it. So I cut two small pieces of seal pipe and mounted them to the sides of the canoe, and they're going to act as receivers for our outriggers. I'm just going to throw a bunch of these noodles in the boat. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not, but it might displace a little bit of water if we flip it over. Try to pack it with as much stuff as we can. It's just a bunch of things to try and retrieve from the ocean once we tip it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a two-person paddleboard, so it's not for your traditionalist. It's a team sport, and uh, I'm the team captain. <laughs> It might be a little dangerous. It might work. We don't know. I mean, it's a complete unknown. You want to lift it up and see how heavy it is now? I think we can probably do it, though. And you know what? It'll be fun trying. These might do something. I wonder if she's going to the bottom by herself as soon as we step in it. <laughs> Ready? Bunch it. We got in the water. The paddleboard worked great. It was pretty good, actually. We were standing up paddleboarding on it. The canoe wasn't actually that tippy. We had a couple outriggers, and they really did their job and kept it stable. I don't know why you'd buy a stand-up paddleboard. If you've got a canoe and a whole bunch of lumber and hockey sticks and oars, you don't even need a stand-up paddleboard. We were kind of knocking paddles sometimes, but uh, all in all, I think the design is reasonable. Uh, maybe a bigger canoe next time, but either way, that was awesome. I'm really glad we went. <laughs>